Hmm. Hmm. Is this gonna take us to the downstairs level? I feel like it's not. Uh, well, you know. Hold on. Maybe it will. I can't remember. There's definitely a good bit of dead bodies down here that need looting. Ah, yes. The downstairs level. Easy. I love the things that don't require mag picks to open. Those are so much better than the things that do. I suppose we could have blown up a few canisters down here and see if we randomly caught a robot, but what's the fun in that when you have a sniper rifle and you can just shoot them in their naughty bits? They tend to take more damage when you shoot them there, just FYI. Little tip for your own game, shoot them in the naughty bits. Doesn't work so well with the humans. You have to shoot them in their heady bits. It's a different place. Aim higher and all. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, well, what do we have back in here? Ammo, of course. Ah, the bathroom. Is anyone stuck in a stall that I can extort for money if I let them out? Anyone? Anyone? Hey, this is the first floor. Hey, it's a vendor. Look at that. I knew there would be a vending machine around here somewhere. You can't have a proper scientific installation without a vending machine. What are you going to do when you have those late night cravings? You're working in the lab, you're hard at work, but you really need a honey bun. Well, you, need a, you need a vending machine for that. Lift lockdown. Open the hallway doors. Yeah. Hack away. Ah, ah yes, ah yes, a familiar locale. Hey, a storage shed. Who knew the janitors like to keep all sorts of this good stuff in the in the shed here, the storage shed. It's an internal storage shed. I'd call it a storage closet, but we're going with shed. Jewelry too, nice, must be confiscated. Employees wearing jewelry into the office, they know that's against the rules, but they do it anyways. Dirty employees. I think that's about it. There was uh, nothing back in here. Nothing by the fire. No? Okay. Auntie Cleo, what sort of goodness are you cooking up in here for me today? Not buying that from you, but uh, what I will do... We have lots and lots of goodies on us. I'm a wondering. Hmm. First of all, let's see. Where's that body thing that we've used before? Was it this? 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 Body attributes, yes. Does this get us over the hump for 185? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, F. 170. Okay, well, then we're going to have to go into our inventory here and uh, find things that need to be removed. Uh, wow, we need to get rid of... Oh, you know what we can get rid of? Uh, first of all, we can sell junk. That's always helpful, but we can sell this stuff. The, the the meat, the meat, the meat. The meat is also is heavy. Yes. Sell the meat. Now if we go into inventory, we are slightly underneath where we need to be. We are at 153 of 170. And if we're quick, we can go out here. Resway Gardens. Fast travel point here. So uh, what we can do is fast travel back to the ship, go to Groundbreaker, and sell with a hefty, hefty, hefty profit.
Back for our rest. Space adventuring is. Space adventuring is some tiring rough business. Work. It is tiring work, actually. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to dump this stuff in our chest over here. And we will uh, deal with it later when we get an opportunity to go back to the Groundbreaker. But I don't want to sell it for uh, a lower amount of money than we could get if we just sold it on the Groundbreaker. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. That, that. Da, 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 da. Yes. Okay. Good times. Uh, now, we did pick some things up here. Uh, that's medical. This was engineering plus five. But that's engineering plus 15. So we can get rid of that. Dialogue, tech. We already have a dialogue. Uh, tech. Uh, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Science three. Persuade 5. I thought we had Dialogue 5 somewhere. Do we not have a... That's a... Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep that then. Um, tech. Engineering. Tech. One-headed melee. Man, I really don't care about that. Uh, medical stuff. This stuff is just unfortunate is what this stuff is. Not helpful at all. Uh, that was helpful. So it looks like we can get an extra 20 pounds of carrying weight capacity when we pop a body, uh, a sugary drink. I pop a Gatorade and carry 20 more pounds. Yeah. Okay. So we'll hold on to that stuff. We're at 39 and 150. It's fine. All right, so we dumped our stuff on the unreliable. We, uh, I was, I was half considering going back to the groundbreaker. I'll be honest, but uh, with the chest, it just doesn't make sense. We'll just dump stuff there and be good. Uh, how is everything? Eighty-one percent. It only takes six. And let's repair this. No, we will repair that. Yeah, and I'll repair that. This we're not going to repair. All right. Uh, we can do a direct fast travel right back to where we were. Take these two with us. And what we want to do is find out where Sam's part is at. I thought it might be close by, but apparently that's not the case. Uh... The cleaning machine. Find the acid steeper. Ah, it's all the way over there. That's okay. Um, let's see. Raptodon Den we've been in. The tug ship crash. This is some sort of excavation logging camp. Uh, I guess we could just run this way. Hmm. If we went up and around, came down, we could hit this. Then we could hit this. We'll go over here, and then we'll deal with this stuff. And we can deal with whatever God's name is going on in there. Uh, yeah. And it's daytime, by the way, which is super nice. Good to see all the pretty colors. And hopefully any of the landmines that might still be out here. Nice kill. Hey, they're worth 120 experience. Leave me alone. It's worth the kill. And they have loot on them. Sometimes. See? Sprat hides. Oh, I hear another one. Where's he at? Where's he at? Somebody tell me. Keep your eyes open. He's around. I heard him. He's cackling. I hear him in the distance. There he is. I see movement. Sniped another Sprat. You think I'm a monster, don't you? Admit it. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. I've been called worse. Uh, let's get up in... Let's get up in here. Oh, uh, we 
wait a second. What is no? Here is the path we seek. And uh, it's really not where we want to go, to be honest, though. We want to go right here. And we've already been up here. This was that, like, weird shipwreck, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go down. Oh, we won't go down just yet. Uh... There are bad guys in the vicinity. We're gonna see if we can snipe them from up here. <laughs> this is a long distance shot with, uh, generally with weapons that uh, are not meant for long distance shots. See, that's a marauder that's right there. So what we'll do is we'll switch back to our rifle here. See, the further away you get, the less damage you will do. Let's see if we can get some sway out of this. What hit them? Yeah, you have no idea what just happened, did you? I mean, you guys aren't like Indians. If I fire off another shot, you shouldn't be able to locate me, even though you can. Two shots, and you can somehow triangulate my position. If you were like, go out old... Jaffa shock troopers or something, I would get that, but I mean, let's be honest, you're, you're not. You're just random marauders, hooligans. Somebody's alert level goes down, they're getting shot in the head. I'm just putting that out there. Your lookout, somebody. Your lookout is far enough away that I have a feeling if I crack off a shot and hit him, uh, you guys are going to be toast. Can I do it without you noticing, is the question. First of all, let's reload. The bane of my existence. Reloading. Alright, he's down. Get this back here. Try me. Uh, who is? Ha! Holy crap! What are these guys doing? Is somebody flying? Yeah, I think we're good. I'll keep quiet. Yeah, you keep quiet. Well, it looks like there are bad guys down there. I really want some bodies. Alright, so there were two guys down in here that we killed. But I feel like the bodies went away. Oh, hey, look what it is. Here we go. Down they go. Oh, that's a dead marauder. Oh, not quite. Alright, he's dead now. Oh crap, he's just turned into dust. Don't mess with us. 
The most beautiful places are often the most deadly. Really, the ringleader had no loot on so him. Damn far away. Give me a break. I guess the trek alone is meant to detour the curious. At least he had a dead eye assault rifle. That was kind of nonsense. I I'm gonna have to call shenanigans on that. Here they come! Come on. Got there you em. go. You just be quiet. Nothing in the bin. Come on. They must have cleared this place out in a hurry to have abandoned such a valuable piece of machinery. Yeah. Uh oh. I feel like the, I'm really disappointed by this. These outlaw ringleaders usually have really good loot on them. I think we kind of got hosed. I hear me some sprats. Also see a landmine. Dead eye assault rifle. That was that lookout that was over here. Sounds like he's to our left. Now it sounds like he's down here. There he is, right there. Nice one. Are they like ventriloquist sprats throwing their voice all over the place? Is that another one? Wow. Whole collection of them down here. All the sprat hides you can handle. I want to go this way because I want to go to the. Uh, I want to find whatever it takes to get Sam online. Hello, bandits. I'm hoping that you don't have a handy dandy uh, auto mechanical on your side and just a tamed canid that really wants to get sniped in the head. You're the only two that are excited about that, which is perfectly fine with me. All together. Yeah, go get him. Wow, he's got corrosive mod on there. I should step out. What are you doing? Better knock that off. Somebody is shooting at us. Better run. Everyone, all right? Nice job. Well, apparently they were hanging out over here somewhere that we didn't see. That's fine. There was another camp right there, it looks like. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's like, I, I'm pretty sure somebody was over here. Where'd the other guy? Here we go. Is this the guy that we... Yeah, of course, the assault rifle we just picked up off of him doesn't have... Uh, Ow. Of course, the assault rifle that we picked up out of him definitely isn't going to have the corrosive mod on it, but 
even though it should have, because that's what he was using against us. That's all right, though. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Jesus. How many of these things are there here? And how were they walking around down here fighting me on top of landmines and not setting them off? Just curious. You would think that would be impossible. I know it's all video games and everything, but an, an air of believability somewhere in the logic of how that might work. Zalt's all masking. That's not much. Whoa, that was a big one. Oh, crap. Come over here and take a look, Slick. Come on. Come on. Who's moving so slow? It's not a robot, is it? It's a dog. No, it's not a dog. It's the ringleader. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wow, you just got smoked. Who else is down here? Somebody. One all right. Should have shot one of those exploding barrels right next to him. Marauder hooligan. Let's see, Canid, ringleader. Well, he didn't have that much good stuff, but it's better than the last one that had nothing. Right? I mean. A little bit's better than nothing. Okay, somebody over here got marked too. A lookout that has no weapon, but was somehow using a weapon to fire at us. Explain it? Can't. Sorry. Uh, what, what's this? Ooh, this is a... This is a fast travel point, so we can always come back. And we found a workbench. And some ammo. But it looked like there was a path that led up in the hills there. There'll be a path in them our hills. And I'm kind of wondering what might be up there. The best thing to do when you're wondering such things, though, is to make sure you have reloaded your weapon just in case you run into the unexpected. Like, I don't know, more marauders. Is this a bridge to nowhere, or is this actually, you know, something? And are there landmines? This and many other questions will be answered in the next episode of As the Marauder Turns to Dust when he gets shot with plasma. That is a landmine right there. Are there marauders moving around down here? There's dead raptodons moving around down here. I'm ready for this. Get him! Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Hey, Marauder Vandal. Is she? What are you doing? Everyone all right? Knock that off. Pravati, how were you hurt, and why weren't you defending me? She was really my friend. She would have defended me. She would have stood right next to me and took the blows. 
as that marauder came for me. To prove her friendship and her loyalty to her captain. But instead, she died. Or came close to it. I wasn't watching her health bar. All I heard was Vicar say, Pr Pravati's in trouble. She really loved me. She would have done that. What do you do for somebody you love, you know? You take the hits for them. That's true love. And I wish we could disarm these things and get credit. Or at least something for blowing them up. I mean, I'm still burning ammo blowing these things up, right? Is that a marauder or a he Oh, that is an outlaw squad leader. What the hell am I finding here that's got outlaw squads? Hmm, interesting. Okay, all right. This is a road that leads to outlaws. Hey, 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 ho, yo, hey, ho, ho. Yo. Time to reload. And sneak. Okay, go on quiet. Yes, go quiet. And, uh, let's... Take out the outlaw sniper. Whoever did this, I'm gonna find you. Are you? Do you promise? Get him. Wow. That's the last that is a of them. dead outlaw squad leader. And somebody definitely lost their head there. I like to kill them in groups. Kind of like this. That way, when you go to loot them, you don't have to walk all over the place. You can just kind of like walk to one little area, do some looting. It's good. Much easier that way. Well, that doesn't sound friendly, whatever that is. That sounds distinctly unfriendly. That even looks distinctly unfriendly. Uh, when do you guys get in here? Can you come in here? Can't do. Can't get in here. Okay. Well, don't stamp on any landmines. Please. And don't get yourself seen by the raptodons that are down there trying to murder me. Because I've got looting to do. And I don't want to get ambushed by raptodons while I'm looting. Because you guys can't sneak properly. Vendor? No. I feel like I've really done something to help out Spacer's Choice, and I just don't get the discount in their uh, vending machines that I believe I should. Alright, uh, we're going to back out of here because, well, yeah, we just are. Um, man, I don't want these guys charging down there either. So, if I remember correctly, and of course I do, uh, I think we can go up here. And there are outlaws to be dealt with, but, 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 we can take a uh, look over top of that hill and take out all the bad guys that are down there without taking too much damage. And I think there's a back door up here somewhere. We're not going in just yet, but. Yes, the covert lab vent shaft. 
I always wanted to sneak into a secret lab by crawling through the vents like they do in the serials. Yes, me too. Is this... Alright. We don't want to attack Lillian because uh, she's going to have a quest for us that will be worth doing. Uh, let's see here. If I blow this up, what happens? Do they both die? Here we go. Nope. They just become alerted to my presence and uh, all come shooting me. I am sure something hurt. Somebody just shot me really well. That was a good shot. 